Hey there, guys. This is Cole. Uh, welcome back to another movie review. Uh, it's 9.30 at night, so I'm not going to keep this review too long because people are probably going to go to bed here pretty soon. But uh, I was going to finish watching this movie earlier today, but I didn't get the chance to. We had to leave a little earlier than unexpected because something came up that I'm not going to get into. But so I finished rewatching it just to less than a minute ago and today i'm going to be reviewing friday the 13th part three which i'll be honest coming from someone who is a fan who likes some of the movies in this franchise like i like part one i like part two i like part four i like part six which is actually my favorite of the series uh I like uh the 2009 remake and i don't mind freddy versus jason but I could never really get into Friday the 13th Part 3. Like, I know this is a fan favorite and stuff like that, but I, it just never really worked for me. But we'll get into the reasons as to why. But uh, So, I already reviewed the first two Friday the 13th movies. Uh, you can view that on my playlist. Uh, I like the first two. This... Now, I don't know, like... This is a rant. Like, it's not like a, like, the, you know what? Yeah, this is a rant. I really don't like this movie. Uh, it's not as bad as the last movie I reviewed, Martyr, uh, Martyrs from the 2008 horror movie Martyrs. No, it's not as bad as that. I would rather, I will say right now, I don't like the movie Martyrs, but I don't like this movie, but I would rather watch it over Martyrs, the one I reviewed earlier, but... But, again, that doesn't say much because this is not a good movie. Like, because, and we're going to get into the reasons as to why. But, but I'll talk about the positives that I did like first. Uh, positives, uh, I liked the opening scene of the movie to where, even though we didn't necessarily need it, it was a nice little recap of the second movie where this movie shows the ending of Friday the 13th Part 2 as a flashback. And I really and I will say I like the the score in this movie by Harry Manfredini. I think the score is pretty good. Like the disco soundtrack is pretty good. And uh and I also like the actor who played Jason in this movie. I think Michael Brooker is his name. Uh I thought he, to be honest, he's one of the best actors who has played Jason yet. Uh my favorite Jason actor is Derek Mears from the 2009 remake, but and then my second favorite Jason actor would be Ted White from Friday the 13th Part 4 of the Final Chapter, which I think is a significantly better movie than this, but I'll review that movie next. But just, I was never crazy about this movie. Like, so the movie starts, we get past that, and then we're introduced to these characters. And to be honest, these characters, like, at least with the first movie, uh, Alice, in my opinion, Alice was a memorable character. Like, was she the greatest character ever? No, but Alice was a decent character. I thought she was memorable. And I also thought that Amy Steele or uh, Ginny was a great final girl. The final girl in this, I don't know, just something about it. Like, I don't think she's terrible, but like, I don't really like, I don't. I don't know. I just don't really care for her character. And another problem I have with this movie is that I do not think the 3D effects have aged all that well. And I get, you know, I get it. I get that this movie came out in the 1980s and they were trying to push 3D, but 3D was not advanced yet to where it could handle all this stuff. Uh, and then they also made Jaws 3 or Jaws 3D, which is not a good movie either. And I'll say between the two, I mean, I do think Jaws 3 is worse than this movie, but but this is still not a very good movie either. But like, but like I said, there are good qualities to this movie. I think Michael Brooker does play a good Jason. Uh, I like the final showdown at the end of the movie. Uh, I like the final showdown with Jason at the end of the movie. And there is some good, uh, there is some good, there's some good kills and practical effects. I can give it that, but 
again, just this movie just doesn't feel all that special to me because it just feels like a rehash of the first two movies. But so we're introduced to these characters. Uh, so Shelly, yeah, Shelly is one of these side characters. And uh, no disrespect for people who are a part of the of the LGB2 community. Uh, like, I have no problem with people who are a part of that. Like, and I get that he represents a certain part of that group. And, you know, that's fine. If you're a part of that group, that is 100% fine. But to be honest, like... He was he was supposed to be the like he was supposed to be like the funny guy and I don't know why just I didn't really find I did not find the jokes he said like he makes jokes in these movies but to be honest I didn't think the jokes were really all that funny to be perfectly honest with you and and we have just 3D that does not age well like I think a big part of the problem with this movie was that like I just don't think that it was a good idea to force 3D in here because 3D was not fully realized until later on. Like, I think it was some... Like, I don't think 3D was realized until the 90s with stuff like Terminator 2. I mean, there might have been... I mean, granted, I don't know everything about 3D, so maybe there was some movie of the 80s that used 3D well that I either haven't seen or can't remember, so... Uh, if there is one, let me know in the comment section down below. But I really don't like the 3D in this. Also, and so getting back to the Shelby character. So he's in like this uh, kind of like a, a gas station. And then there's this biker gang that, you know, is up on him. And like, I do like uh, the biker gang. I do think that is a new interesting aspect of this franchise that we don't get to see enough of. And... And I also, uh, and I also think that, you know, like I said, you know, some of the, there's some really good practical effects in this movie. Uh, and so, and I like, and despite the, and like the 3D, like I said, has not aged well, but there are some good kills in this movie. Like when Jason, like when one of the biker gangs is searching the barn and he finds a dead body hanging and then Jason basically takes like a, uh, kind of like a giant pitchfork and stabs it through the guy's chest and then he falls over and that is good I will admit that but but then you have a really stupid kill involving like a then you have a really stupid uh kill involving like Jason popping a guy's eye out of his head and even for the time the special effects looked terrible on this when he's just popping it out of his head like I never liked that. I always thought that looked way too silly looking and which is funny because my favorite Friday the 13th movie is Friday the 13th part six, Jason lives. But like there, I will give you, there is one dumb moment in that movie, but in my opinion, everything else in that movie is significantly better than this. I mean, other than one stupid moment in part six, everything else about that movie is significantly better than this. In my opinion, just this movie was just, and I've tried, like, I really want to like this movie because I like the first two Friday the 13th movies, part four and part six and the remake. So it's like, I want to like this movie, but it just has never worked for me. I got to be perfectly honest with you, but so getting back to it. So we're introduced to uh, Christy. I think her name is, I could be wrong. Uh, Christy is the final girl in this movie and she was okay, but to be honest, I know this might be a bit of a hot take, but I thought Alice, uh, while not being the best character in the world, was a much better, from the first Friday the 13th movie, was a much better final girl. That's just my opinion. And so basically, she's with her friends, you know. So yeah, she's with her friends and stuff like that. And then, and then, you know, and like I said, you know, we also get to, like, and then for some reason, like, uh, one of them, like, one of the characters, like, so Shelby, he, like, this is later in the movie, he has his throat slit, like, you can clearly tell, like, he has his throat slit, but for whatever reason, Maggie, I think that's what her name was, thinks that he's just pulling a prank on her for some reason, even though it's, like, 
Can you not tell that this is really going on? And like, and I, I get it. I get that these movies are low budget and they're not going to have the best acting, but at least the first two movies, and, and yes, there are, I will admit like, some of the acting, even though I do like the first two movies, like, ex even though I do like the first movie, yeah, I'll give you, it doesn't, there are some parts where some of the acting is not that good, but I think, but I, but, but I will admit, like, the first movie, like, I thought, I thought Alice was a really good character, a, a good character played by Adrian Kane. I thought she had much more I don't know. I just thought she was a better developed character, which, like I said, I know is not a popular opinion, but it is my opinion. And uh, and getting into some of the kills here, uh, when that that girl, you know, she sees that, you know, that that the guy that she thought was uh, pulling a prank on her, she's screaming and running down the stairs, yelling, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" and stuff like that, and just. It just, yeah, uh, and then we get to the finale of the movie where Christy, like, she's, she, like, she, like, and I like the way, you know, she's trying to fight off Jason to where she tricks Jason and then she hangs Jason by a rope, but he's obviously not dead and then she gets out to the lake, and I don't like the way this jump scare is executed, like, it's not, a, like, the first Friday the 13th, like, it had a good jump scare with Jason popping out of the water, but it's so predictable. Like, it's a jump scare, but instead of it being with Jason, it's Jason's zombie mother. But, like, the makeup just, like, I didn't think the makeup was really all that convincing. It just did not work for me. And there's other really bad 3D gimmicks, like, not only the eyeball pop, but, like, a 3D baseball bat and popcorn and just, I've never been a fan of this movie. So at a scale of one to 10, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I'm going to give Friday the 13th part three. Uh, I guess I'll give it a three out of 10. Just never been a big fan of this movie. But again, if you like this movie, that's fine. I respect your opinion. So yeah, that was my review of Friday the 13th part three and I'll see you guys later. See you. Well, you know, a three and a half, maybe four out of ten. But yeah, uh, three and a half or three out of ten. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye bye.